When I started planning these videos, I assumed I would only make one video about the fish in Ark. I mean, they're barely tameable, and our only in-game interaction with them is to kill them for meat or to tame otters. How interesting could they really be? It turns out that I was wrong. So here is a video about the coelacanth. Dive into any water body in Ark and you will probably be attacked by piranhas, but you will also find the coelacanth. It's a passive mob that swims around the lakes, rivers and oceans of the Ark. They vary in size, and other than that, they're pretty uninspiring. The coelacanths, however, are a well-represented freshwater and marine fossil, with the earliest fossil record being from the Devonian period, 410 million years ago. That's 170 million years before the first dinosaur. They were thought to have become extinct during the late Cretaceous, about 66 million years ago. Coelacanths are interesting because they are related to lungfish and tetrapods, tetrapods being four-limbed vertebrate animals. These tetrapods include all existing and extinct amphibians and amniotes, the latter of which evolved into the sauropsids being reptiles, dinosaurs and birds, and the synapsids being mammals and all of their ancestors. What makes coelacanths even more fascinating is that they still exist. Although this was only discovered in 1938, a hundred years after the first fossil specimen was described and named in 1839. In fact, there isn't just one living species of coelacanth, there are two. The West Indian Ocean coelacanth, discovered in 1938, and the Indonesian coelacanth, discovered in 1998. Because of the living species, we are able to learn a lot about coelacanths. They are a large, plump, lobe-finned fish. They can grow to more than 2 metres in length and weigh about 90 kilograms. It is estimated that they can live for up to 100 years and reach maturity around the age of 55. They are covered in scales that act as armour and have eight fins. They have a unique form of movement, mainly taking advantage of ocean currents and drift. They use their fins to stabilise movement through the water and have high manoeuvrability, being able to move their bodies in almost any direction. They have been seen swimming belly up as well as doing headstands. Coelacanths are piscivores and feed on smaller fish and cephalopods such as squid. They feed by drifting along the currents and eating whatever they encounter. They rest during the day in caves or in the deeper ocean and hunt at night. Living coelacanths were first discovered at fish markets, but they apparently don't make for good eating. Their meat contains large amounts of oil, urea and other compounds that give it a very unpleasant flavour, and consuming it can cause diarrhoea. The scales also secrete a mucus, making them very slimy. With its impressively long history, stretching back long before the existence of dinosaurs, the coelacanth has proved that even the most unassuming creatures of the Ark can actually be surprisingly interesting. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to comment raptor below, and I promise the next video will actually be about raptors. I'll see you in the Ark. Take care.